Ben Harris. If you don't know who Ben Harris is, he's an incredible magician and a writer. He lives uh, off the grid somewhere in the backwoods of Australia. He's the inventor of effects like Cosmosis, the original floating match. If you've ever seen the card with a match floating off it, that's Ben Harris. Also, uh, Hoodwink, Silent Running, Run Silent, Run Deep, and so many other incredible, incredible magic effects. In this episode, we're gonna be learning Ben Harris's underground classic, A Thought Well Stolen, as well as learning A Thought Well Stolen, we're gonna be learning uh, from the Metallica manuscript, something called the Director's Cut, which is kind of a hybrid, different version of A Thought Well Stolen. So this is it, this is A Thought Well Stolen from Ben Harris. Uh, would you like to use the blue cards or the red? It's up to you. Uh, the red. red deck, okay. We'll get back to these later, we'll leave them right here. Here's what I wanna do. You can see that these are all, all mixed. They're not all the same card. They're not, you know, they're all mixed up. And I want you to um, change the position of the card. So cut some cards from from the top to the to the bottom. So we're starting at a, and you can do it again if you like. Just so we're starting at a random, a random point. Okay. Cool. I'm just leaving here. You then ask her to think of any playing card in the deck, and this is truly a free choice. There's no equivoke. There's no fancy wording. She really has a 100% free choice. Your favorite card. You've got one? Uh, there's 52 here. I'm going to deal down through the deck. I just want you to remember what position your card lays at. Okay? One, two, three. Forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. 49, 50, 51, 52. So now you know your card and what position it lays at in the deck. She's thinking of a number and a random card. Random number, random card, you never touch the deck again. You then take the remaining deck and you read her mind. You go through it and you place one card on the table. But to take it a step further, you take that card that you think is hers and you tell her that you're gonna shuffle it into the very number, the position that she's just thinking of in her head. So I have a feeling that this is the card that you're thinking of, but I'm gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna take the card and I'm gonna to try to shuffle it into the deck, into the exact position you're now thinking of. That'd be good, right? Okay. So now we're at an interesting point. Uh, this deck has been shuffled and cut. You're thinking of a card and you're thinking of a number. What position were you thinking of? 27. 27. Pick up your deck. Now you have an option here. You can either tell her the thought of card before you flip over the card at her number, or you can do it at the same time. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Stop here. The 27th card. Uh, the five of clubs. <laughs> now you could end the trick right there and it would be an absolute miracle, but you are gonna take it one step further. After you've shuffled your cards, you deal the rest of your cards out and they all match. The whole rest of the deck Pair by pair by pair by pair. Wouldn't that be weird? Look. <laughs> oh my gosh. When you buy this download, not only are you gonna get the PDF, the book, A Thought Well Stolen from Ben Harris, you're also gonna get a live performance from myself, as well as from the Mentalica manuscript, a director's cut. Now a director's cut is a single deck version and a variation of a thought well stolen that's well worth your attention. So you're going to get a thought well stolen, you're going to get a live performance by myself, and a director's cut from Mentalica. Enjoy.